Hey guys, um, I'm here with Michael Carboni. What's up Kangaroo Chasers? And the reason I'm wearing a Dragon's hat, that's Carbs' team and after last night's performance, I'm tipping them from the wooden spoon, so I felt bad. I'm glad you're feeling sorry for us bro, a lot of us are, so yeah. So we're just here at Liverpool, uh, we've got Malta and Latin Heat kicking off in just over an hour and then we've got Uruguay and Brazil, it's going to be a great day. See you later. Okay guys, I'm just here with Adam Wright who is the Uruguayan head coach, so welcome Wrighty. Uh, how do you think the uh, team will go today? Mate, we've prepared a lot better than they have in the past. It's been hard. I'm from Queensland and we've only had two guys up there, but the boys down here have been getting um, half a dozen or more at the training session. Our preparation's improved on the past, as I said, and we're, just, we're taking steps in the right direction. We've got a few exciting players who can do some damage. We've just got to play some smart footy, and that's sort of been the down, downside in the past. They haven't been disciplined and send off sin binnings and just throwing silly passes. We're gonna try and cut that down today and give this a good shake. And who are the, uh, the danger men out there? Who should we keep an eye, on, um, an eye out for, I should say? Uh, the Papa brothers in the halves, they can light it up. Uh, Gabe the 5'8", he plays some Mounties and his brother who'll come off the bench, Diego, he's at Cabra. So they're both playing in some good footy clubs, getting in good systems. Uh, I've got a young front roller, Lucas. He's a big, he's a big body. He's got some good soft hands. He'll give it a, good, he'll he'll surprise a few people. The heat will obviously be a problem. We've got a bit of pace. Both our co-captains, John Mazio and Angel Morrison, they've got some finishing ability. They're good. They got, we've got some speed out wide. It's just building the pressure on a big Brazilian side. They're strong in the middle, I know, and they've got a good fullback and a good half. So we're going to have to. Uh, bring some pressure to them. If we start turning the ball over, it'll be a long afternoon, but I'm hoping we don't do that. Well, it's a nice hot one today, so I hope the fitness levels are good, and um, yeah, all the best, best of luck. Thanks, Brownie, thanks for having us on. We've got carbs on gate duty. We've got the COVID uh, checking signs just blown away, but you're doing a good job, carbs. Keep it up. Okay, welcome down to the uh, to Liverpool, guys. So, um, who are we supporting today? Uruguay. Uruguay, of course. And uh, what made you support Uruguay? You, you guys from Uruguay? Or? Yeah, we are from Uruguay. We are from Uruguay yes. and which, which part? Uh, Montevideo. Oh, nice one. Well, for your sake, guys, I hope they do really well and good luck to Uruguay. <laughs> That's fine. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. Welcome down to Liverpool. Hi, thank you. Uh, so, um, who are we here to support today? Latin Heat. And yeah. why, why are we going for Latin Heat? Because they Latin. <laughs> My son is playing there. He's half Chilean and half Nicaraguan. Oh, fantastic! Um, so, where, where are you from? Chile. Oh, which part? Santiago, oh, South excellent. America. And you were saying um, off camera that uh, your parents are gonna gonna view the game by yes, live stream. Yes, my parents and my nieces and sister. And they're all the way in Santiago. In Santiago, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Uh, the time is uh, maybe twelve midnight. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well, best of luck to Latin Heat, Thank and you. I hope you enjoy the day. Thank you, yeah, we Thank will. You. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm here with Johnny Maggio, the Uruguayan co-captain. Uh, welcome down, Johnny. So how's the uh, team looking? Mate, looking pretty well. I mean, the the process of training, structure, mate, we've been looking the best we have in the past five years. So it's a good sign our coach Wrighty's had a plan struck down for us and we've just been executing. So keeping it simple and that's what we'll do today. It's a real hot one today here in Liverpool. So how's the fitness levels? I'd like to, I'm, I think I'm all right, but we'll, you know, we'll get tested by the sun today, which I didn't actually bring sunscreen, which is a bit of a worry. Nice. So how do you qualify for Uruguay? You got Uruguayan parents who uh, were you born there? Yep, so my mother was born in, in Uruguay back in the 70s. So they came over here uh, looking for a better life. So I guess I owe it to them and the family for you know to at least represent our, our heritage. Excellent. Well, all the best today, Johnny. Cheers, mate. Have a good one.
Okay, welcome down to Liverpool today, guys. So who are we going for? Uruguay. Uruguay. Okay, welcome to Liverpool today. So which team are you supporting? Uruguay. And oh, Uruguay. <laughs> and why is that? Are you from Uruguay? Si. Sí. So whereabouts in Uruguay are you from? Montevideo. Oh, fantastic. Well, I hope they do well. Have a good day. Thank you, gracias. Okay, welcome down to Liverpool today. So uh, who, who are we supporting? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, coming from Uruguay. Okay, you're from Uruguay? So which, yeah, which part Uruguay. of Uruguay are you from? Uh, Montevideo, it's in the city of Uruguay. Excellent, well have a great day today and I hope they get up. Alright, thank you so much. Okay, so I'm with Jamie Perez who is the president and founder of Peru Rugby League um, and we're, we're at the Uruguay-Brazil game um, and Jamie you've come down to support the Latin Heat I take it? Yes, of course mate, that's, and that's where we actually started, Latin Heat. Uh, obviously many uh, years ago Rob Bergen, the founder of Latin Heat, uh, started uh, the Latin Rugby League for us and that's what spurned on uh, us individually as a, a nation of Peru Rugby League. So I know Peru Rugby League's in its infancy um, pretty new, so tell us about how it's all going. Look, it's going pretty well. Obviously the pandemic has actually affected international rugby league worldwide. So, uh, but look, we have some really great milestones already. Our, our objective has always been to start it in Peru, obviously. We, in March uh, the 6th, uh, 2020, very proud to have had our very first rugby league game played in Lima between two teams that we actually uh, recruited and trained with a Kiwi coach over there. So very proud of that. A very um, long lasting and great memory for us. Well, that's fantastic. Mm. And so there's plans to start up a domestic league in the in the future? Yeah, definitely. Look, uh, you know, we have a great support here in Australia, but at the end of the day, it's, it's where we're heading and the focus is going to be in Peru. We've met with a couple of uh, uh, club officials and we're looking to build on that. Uh, but look, it, it's a little bit difficult in Peru at the moment, like all South American countries, but as soon as that's uh, lifted, uh, nothing's changed. We're looking to become an observer, uh, applying for the International Rugby League as an observer uh, nation. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time today, Jamie, and wish you all the best um, in getting rugby league started in Peru. Just a very good one. Just want to let the guys know we're playing uh, El Salvador next week in the Camp Town in Sydney. So looking forward to that. Uh, number four. We'll be down here and we'll be doing another vlog of the day so that fans that aren't here can uh, experience the day. Great. Thanks a lot, Phil. Thanks for your time. Okay, I'm with Lewis. Welcome down to Liverpool today. So, um, Lewis, tell us where you're from. I come from Montevideo, Uruguay. I've been here since 1974. Wow. So, do you know, know much about rugby league? I do. I follow the Bulldogs and I, I, I find out about this competition and I'm, I'm here from the first game to watch Uruguay and Brazil. So we're not far to kick off, so, um, so what do you think, uh, can Uruguay get up and if so, what do you think the score will be? Well, I think it's pretty even. Um, I think, uh, well, I hope Uruguay wins. <laughs> well, whatever the result, I hope it's a good game and um, That's it. Have, a good, have a good day. Yeah, great, thank you very much. Okay guys, welcome down to Liverpool. Um, so tell me, where, where are you guys from? I'm from Recife in North East. I'm Nimes, from Rio. Awesome, so uh, obviously Brazil supporters, so I uh, you know, hope the game goes well. So what do you think the score will turn out? Um, well, hopefully Brazil takes it up by 10. Oh, easy, yeah. Easy. Well, easy, we'll definitely easy, win. Easy, <laughs> awesome, well have a great day guys. Thank, Thank you. you.
Okay, guys, we've just bumped into Ollie from Rugby League, in my opinion, um, who's down here for the Brazil Uruguay game, and he was here earlier for Malta versus Latin Heat. So, Ollie, what do you think of the day so far? Mate, it's a beautiful day for Rugby League for starters. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Up close to the action, as you can see here, and mate, I'm loving it, loving the international game. And uh, I see you've got a Greek jersey on there, so looking forward to the World Cup, I see. Looking forward to the World Cup. They're sort of my, sort of my second team. They're, they're the team I'm barracking for, and I hope they do well. And after we're about sort of 15 minutes into this game, who's your tip for to take out the uh, top of the game today? Mate, Brazil look really good. I'd love to see Uruguay upset, but I got to go with the head, go with Brazil. But it's close so far. Thanks for your time, Ollie. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Okay, we're just at half time, and we have the two Italian stallions working very hard at the desk. Doing a good job, guys. Thanks, mate. How good? How good is this? Chorizo chases, they're based at Weatherall Park. Food is fantastic. Uruguayan cuisine. Authentic. Thank It'll you. make you speak Spanish. You have a few of these. Gracias. Okay guys, I'm just here with Rod uh, from the Brazil national team. So Rod, um, you guys got up 60 points to nil against Uruguay, so um, must be a good feeling. Oh yeah, full credit to the boys, Phil. Uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, we've been together for two days, because some guys live in Queensland, down in Melbourne, so it's not always that we get together as a team, but it's just too good to you know get together, rep your nation, rep the nation where your father and mother came from. It's unbelievable. But Rod, you're uh, Brazilian born and raised, I yeah. believe, so where, whereabouts in Brazil are you from? I'm from Minas, so it's an inland state, uh, yeah, so, it's full uh, of cattle, beers. And how long have you been in Australia for? Uh, three years, brother. Okay, and how did you how did you find rugby league? Uh, yeah, I originally came here to play rugby union, but then I just fell in love with league through Austag and uh, Touch, through you as well, and uh, Thanks, yeah, Rod. just found those guys and kept playing, you yeah. know, awesome. Now you're a Brazilian Rugby League international, what a good feeling. <laughs> yeah, 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 I wish I could, you know, add some more caps to my name. I'll be happy with that. So Rod, I've been following Brazil Rugby League closely. Um, we've just come on board as a sponsor because they're doing such great things. Thank you for that. Uh, doing so many good things back in Brazil. Have you been following the development back home? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm in direct contact with uh, the CEO from Minas Miners, which is uh, uh, the club development, developmental club in my homestead. Uh, so yeah, just trying to you know have some monthly, maybe weekly catch-ups with Sarah, the girl that that's running the the club down there. Uh, yeah, they're doing some nice things there. Uh, especially now with Rob, Rob, Robert Bergen, he's spent uh, three months in Brazil or something. Uh, yeah, it's just great to see the game grow. That's fantastic. Well, Rod, I can hear the boys uh, celebrating in the background, so I'll let you go and oh, yeah, enjoy the win. Gotta get some beers. <laughs> enjoy. Thanks, Phil. Okay, guys, I'm here with Hector from the Brazil uh, national team. So, Hector, 60 nil over Uruguay. How's it feel? Mate, absolutely cheering at the moment. Um, it was great to come out here and represent Brazil, so um, it was great to come away with a win. Um, we've had a few early, early mishaps before this game. Um, our uniform was unfortunately caught up in customs on the way to Brazil. Um, so, big thanks to um, Sunshine Coast Falcons for lending a hand and um, letting us borrow their kit for the game. Awesome. But yeah, absolutely tuned to have come, come away with a win. Hector, I believe you're uh, Brazilian born. You've got an Aussie accent, I hear, but um, you were actually born in Brazil? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was born in Brazil, moved over to Australia uh, when I was seven years old. So wow. yeah, I've been here longer than I was over there. That's that's where the Aussie accent kicks in. So Nice. And, and what made you uh, fall in love with rugby league? Rugby league? Well, once I moved over, I actually moved over to, to Victoria, so I was a, an AFL kid right. all through juniors. Yep. And then I uh, moved up to Queensland, played a little bit of soccer, and then really wanted to get a bit more physical, so started playing with the local team down up in Queensland. And then, yeah, just fell in love with the game. Um, played for a few, couple of good good teams, and um, got the opportunity to come and represent my country a few times, oh, today and also a few other times, so that's been amazing, yeah. And so now you've... Uh where you came from, you've come to be a Brazil uh, Rugby League International. That's that's fantastic. And um, how, how many times have you played for Brazil? Um, this will be my third time 
Well, I had a bit of an incident last time, only played five minutes, but yeah, I'm absolutely know. ecstatic to have played the full game today. <laughs> well, Hector, congratulations on the win. I'll let you celebrate with the boys and hopefully we'll see you in a Brazil jersey uh, again in the future. Absolutely, looking forward to it. Cheers, mate. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm with Eitor, uh, who made his international debut for Brazil today, played front row. So, Eitor, 60 to nil. Uh, how's it feel? É, foi incrível, um jogo maravilhoso. É, eu mando todas as energias positivas para o pessoal que joga no Brasil, Rugby League. E, cara, hoje foi 60 a 0 contra o Uruguai. A gente fez todo o nosso trabalho muito bem. E a gente vem treinando forte para bater as melhores seleções que estão jogando aqui na Austrália para os jogos internacionais, como Uruguai, Chile, a, a Turquia a, e o Peru. E foi um jogo maravilhoso, um jogo bem bacana. E a gente fez a nossa parte e saiu com um jogo de 60 a 0 hoje. So, Aitor, uh, tell, tell everyone, um, all the viewers. Yeah! <laughs> Guys, that's the sound of celebrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Aitor... uh, meu nome é Aitor Flori, eu vim de Goiânia, eu joguei pelo Goiânia no Rugby Club por cerca de 11, 12 anos. Uh, joguei pelo Trovão Rugby Club também. Joguei alguns jogos internacionais pelo Mosman Rugby Club em, em Sydney. E hoje foi meu primeiro jogo pela seleção brasileira de Rugby League aqui na Austrália, aos expatriados é, que moram na Austrália. Uh, e foi um jogo incrível, maravilhoso. Como primeiro jogo, eu fiz dois tries, foi incrível. So, Aitor, they're doing some great things back, back in Brazil and a 10, 10 team competition, so five men's teams, five uh, women's teams. Brazil have made the Women's Rugby League World Cup. Uh, Brazil Rugby League uh, on the up. Exactly, exactly. Uh... E eu trabalho com a empresa chamada Grimix Pastures. Eles são um dos patrocinadores da seleção feminina de rugby league que vai disputar o campeonato mundial em 2021 esse ano em, na Inglaterra. E foi um campeonato maravilhoso, o campeonato brasileiro. O Rob ah, estava lá acompanhando as meninas em vários estados. Eu torci bastante para o time de do Goianos e o time de Melina. E foi um campeonato maravilhoso, incrível. Eu vi eu, todos os vídeos e vocês estão de parabéns, meninas. E os boys também, os meninos. Well, Aitor, we hope you're enjoying your rugby league and we hope to see you in a Brazil jersey again in the future. Yeah, uh, com certeza estarei jogando novamente. Temos mais um jogo contra a Turquia em um mês e outros dois jogos nos, um, daqui dois ou três meses em Queensland, em Brisbane. E eu estarei jogando lá com certeza. So guys, I've just got Ravi joining us. Uh, so Ravi is a Brazilian born and raised as well and was in the Brazil um, youth squad for rugby union. So Ravi, second appearance for Brazil. Uh, what was it like, uh, you know, especially with a 60 to nil win over Uruguay? Ah, foi bom pra caramba. A gente conseguiu botar o nosso plano de jogo em ação. É, a gente teve alguns poucos treinos, mas foi bom demais e a gente ficou muito feliz de encontrar umas caras familiares aí com a gente, né? Eu já joguei com o Heitor muito por muitos anos. A gente já bateu cabeça nos campos e é muito bom ver esse rugby league sendo é, sendo desenvolvido no Brasil. No Brasil. Está muito feliz com isso é, e a gente está vendo os resultados aí, 60 mil. Estamos é, feliz pra caramba. A gente só botou o nosso plano de jogo e eu acho que daí só, só vai melhorando. And how, how long have you been in Australia for? Uh, um, um ano. Completou um ano agora. É, antes disso eu estava na Nova Zelândia, joguei pelo South Canterbury na Nova Zelândia, Sevens e Union também. E tô apaixonado, a gente está apaixonado pelo League, é um esporte muito bom, cara, é muito divertido, um pouquinho mais rápido, é, mas muito diferente do Union. So guys, do you have, uh, have you adopted an NRL team? Do you support a team at the moment? Uh, Roosters. I support uh, Cowboys because I was living in Townsville for two years. And Roosters. Yes. So, Cowboys. have you seen all the, <laughs> you've seen all the teams in the Brazil domestic competition? Who do you think will take it out? We saw, yeah, I, I, we yeah. watched a little bit. Sao Paulo is having the best, is taking the best out of it. Uh, I reckon what, because it's very centralized in Brazil, the rugby union, I reckon uh, the league is going to develop really fast there because of that. Yeah, it's a quicker game and I think it's a little bit more simple for the rules. Yeah. So uh, for people to understand To understand too. and support us, I think it's a great, great opportunity for rugby league. Guys, I'd like to wish you all the very best in the future and I hope to see you guys in a Brazil jersey uh, again. Uh, okay. 100%. 100%. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys, I'm with uh, Brazil internationals Donovan and Rubens. Uh, so, guys, we've just finished uh, playing an international against Uruguay, 60 nil. How does it feel? Amazing. Like, we, it was hard for us to get the team together. We had a few boys, you know, coming from interstate. 
Um, training was, you know, scheduled a bit all over the place, but you know, in the end, we came in together. And that's when it comes into just culture and playing for your country. You know, we weren't wearing our jerseys, but you know, in that shed, we just came together that last minute and we just played like the way we played against Peru. And it was just amazing. You know, the team came together, we're playing more structured now, and we're just ready to take on the next best thing. I was going to say, you look very disciplined and structured out there. So, uh, yeah. you know, credit to the coaching staff there. Definitely. Yeah, it was good because uh, we really wanted to make up for the game before against Peru, where we made quite a lot of you know, simple mistakes and today was really good and <laughs> just before in the warm-ups we, we made all our mistakes there and uh, it was great that we made minimal mistakes on the field. So guys, I can hear Aussie accents, so were you guys born in Brazil or how do you qualify to play for Brazil? Yeah, so um, I was actually born here in Australia. My mum's from Recife up north and my dad's from Rio de Janeiro. So both born there but I was born here, so first generation Australian, played rugby league growing up as a kid and I'm very proud to play for Brazil. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm similar to my mum's from uh, Brazil as well, she's also from Rio and um, yeah, my dad's from Portugal but I, I was born here. Awesome. So what, what made you guys fall in love with rugby league? Oh, just as a kid growing up at school, growing, um, watching the kids play, you know, it was the heritage around here, um, especially culturally. And for me, I was too big to play soccer, you know, so rugby league was the next, next, next best thing. And then played for a few club sports like Mounties, um, you know, and got back into it. This pop um, came up, so it was amazing to be part of it. And, you know, even though I'm 27 years old, I still got a bit left in me. So we'll see what happens in the future. Awesome. Um, so I, I hope to see you guys in a Brazil jersey down the track. Um, and you know all the very best and would you like to say anything to the people back in Brazil that have just yeah. started playing the sport? Brazil, oh, esse esporte é muito bom para jogar, é um passionamento mesmo. Ah, vamos lá cima, fica treinando, fica tocando dura e a gente vai lá até a vitória, até o próximo Globo World Cup. Então, a menina está lá e agora é só nosso mesmo. A gente é um país muito grande. A gente está fazendo tudo muito nacional. Então vamos aqui, a gente está aqui na Austrália fazendo para vocês. Vocês fazem lá no Brasil e a gente fica juntos mesmo. Então boa sorte, vai tudo. A gente vai aqui para cima e só mesmo. Awesome. Thanks for your time, guys, and celebrate the win. Thank, Thank you very we much. Will. We, we will. will. So, yeah, we had this beautiful game. It's, it feels good to be back. I'm a original rugby union player. Been in Australia for six years and finally happened to meet these guys and it was an amazing game. Everyone left everything we had, passion. Yeah, that was amazing. So Paulo, um, so back in Brazil, they're starting a national league, which has five men's teams and five women's teams. So it's great to see rugby league um, being played in Brazil. Uh, have you got any any message for the people back home um, yeah. that are starting to play rugby league for the first time? Can, can I say in Portuguese to them? Of course. Aí galera, vamos buscar porque o Brasil é muito grande. O rugby só está começando. Vamos com o League. Awesome. Well, thanks, thanks for your time, Paulo. And I'd yeah, like to it, man. wish you all the best. All the best. Okay, we're just on our way home from the uh, Brazil Uruguay International. So Brazil have just beaten Uruguay 60 0 Very convincing. Um, they, they were very dominant. So Carbs, tell us your thoughts on the uh, on the day. How you going, guys? Kangaroo chases. What's happening? Uh, awesome day today. Sorry, I'm going to concentrate on the road. But an awesome day, great flavour. We had the Uruguayan music bongos going on. We had a huge crowd. I reckon there was about 500 people rocked up, Maltese, Latinos, uh, because it was obviously the Malta Latino heat game earlier. It's just great to see, hear all the accents. We heard some beautiful Uruguayan accents and Brazilian accents as well. Some beautiful people coming to support International Rugby League at Liverpool. Sensational stuff. And uh, 60 mil, an absolute shellacking as I like to say from the Brazilians and Phil, mate, since we started sponsoring the side, undefeated, and they haven't let a try in. So I think we've got something to do with that one, for sure. I think we're the, the good luck charm. So one one from one with uh, Chasing Roos as but, their sponsor. I've got to say, well done to the Uruguay. Well, Malta and Latino, the Latino Heat to start off with. Great game, uh, 12 all at, all at half time, but the Maltese ran away with it. Those boys have had a lot of game time together. Latino Heat, not as much. But those Maltese guys towards the end, you could see the silky skills, the moves. They did very well. They put it away. I think it was about 36 16 in the end. Too strong. Uh, but Brazil, Uruguay came. Uh, Brazil, way too big, way too fast. And um, I don't know, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Brazil, way too big, way too fast. They had their halfback. I think his name was Dylan Nunes. He scored three tries, kicked eight goals. I think it was eight from nine or ten. Wow. Sensational. Like, talk about Sean Johnson sort of stepping and weaving and 
just yeah he scored some beautiful tries some, one of them was like almost length of the field and then you had a big bop by number 10 his name was ricardo levy and uh ricardo was like he scored three tries and this is like a big front rower three tries absolutely sensational and uh yeah brazil i'm telling you if they're not in terms of heritage based or australian based players because let's not forget a lot of the guys in that brazilian team although they reside in australia uh, because the brazilian domestic guys can't get over here at the moment obviously but although they reside in australia a lot of them born in brazil and uh, you could just hear it i don't know if you heard it brownie on the sidelines but you could hear the accents and they're speaking portuguese to each other and i was just like man this is like this is international rugby league it felt good to be there a great day out and a uh, great job to both sides so guys yeah as you heard it from carbs it was a fantastic day and i hope you enjoyed the vlog today uh carbs won't be here next week but we're going to be doing it all again at the peru el salvador game next saturday so um carbs would love to be there but he's got some family duties so um signing out and we hope you enjoyed the vlog cheers guys